former rugby player and renowned chef Dennis Bambachi and popular Cadillac Kali Cairo have been exchanging a banter on the socials and it seems there is some sort of beef between the two. Now after three days, Dennis Bambachi has finally made his comeback. In their exchange about three days ago, Caliph Cairo finished off the exchange with this tweet that left Ombachi thinking about a comeback for three days. So this is what Caliph Cairo said. Ombachi, mimi sijawe kwa na mzungu, izo misuli ziki shangubu, libido ishuke na follow us on Instagram, that divorce will hit you harder than your failed rugby career. Tafuta pesa kababa. My son has a trust fund somewhere in the Caymans where funza wako kupika. So Dennis Ombachi after three days, um, he has decided to respond to that tweet and this is what he said. Child support VP, you mentioned everything you don't have here. It's called trauma projection. I offer further figure services as a side hustle. When things get tough, give me a call brother, men for men. And this was just the scratch of the surface. Dennis Ombachi had more coming. But before we go to that, just to look at how all this started. We don't know where the bad blood came in, but I recall the first time seeing Dennis Ombachi or Cairo's case was during the Mandamano time. And this was the time when people had perceived Caliph Cairo as a traitor. And Dennis Ombachi also jumped on that train of people on X, you know, being against Caliph Cairo. And then quite recently, when Wavinia's past, Wavinia's the girlfriend to Caliph Cairo, when Wavinia's past was revealed, we also got to see Dennis Ombachi again jump on that train of people on X who are roasting Caliph Cairo. And then recently, about three days ago, we got to see this exchange between them. And these are some of the tweets that they made to banter each other. I think this time it was Caliph Cairo who started the whole thing. Dennis Ombachi had made a tweet saying, Hiyo parodia at Soko Analyst, who tweet upuzi sana comment section kwanza yangu, from today ni kushuka na huyu mkongwe baraduli aende ale wajuku kama wenzake. Caliph Cairo responded to that tweet and said, Bro, just rest. I don't know what you are trying to prove. Learn more recipes and just cook. Stop focusing on silly Twitter cloud na utafute pesa. Then Dennis Ombachi replied, I don't have time for you. Stop evading your kids like you are evading taxes. Sijui umona jinayako wapi hapo. And it was then that Caliph Cairo replied and said, Ombachi mimi sijawe kwa na mzungu, izo misuli ziki shanguvu, libido ishuke na followers upoteze Instagram, that divorce will hit you harder than your failed rugby career. He then followed with another tweet that said, Got home to some nice food from Kamba Babe after a long day riding dirty bikes. The washed up rugby star can't relate, probably spent whole day impressing the wife, washing dishes and begging for an allowance increase. And that was like a 10 nil score because Dennis Ombachi didn't respond, he didn't reply. And so it seemed Caliph Cairo had won this game of banter. And while Dennis Ombachi was taking his time to respond, Caliph Cairo was beating his chest. Nime notice for a while, nime avoid violence, watu wakanza kunizoea HTL. Sana sana huyo dumesuruali wa rugby. Acha nirudi default settings, aura for aura, fire for petrols, chaos for war. Dennis Ombachi, being an active participant of KOT, very well understands the game of Aura for Aura. And even though it took him three days to come with a comeback, at least he did deliver a comeback by replying to Caliph Cairo eventually and saying he is to a child support. But this wasn't the banter that got me. The one that got me is this one, where he says, Let no one lie to you. Education is not important. McMill and Andika emails the company Nagrama Kengeza. Clients who complain garage na chelewa na zikifika but zime funguliwa. For us to understand this banter really well, we need to have context. So in case you're wondering who McMill is, well, McMill is actually Caliph Cairo. I don't know why Dennis Mbachi chose to call him McMill. Anyways, um, the issue about grammar was spotted in an email where Caliph Cairo was responding to a client. So Caliph Cairo's clients have been complaining of some delays after they've purchased cars from his company. I've covered that story in detail in the video 
right before this one so if you're interested in that you can check it out but yeah for context there's this email where Khalif Cairo was responding to a client and it has so many grammatical errors let's look at it so this is the email and he typed and said hello sir i apologize for the inconvenience we experienced a shipping delay but i expedited the issue with the japan team the shipping department will give you prompt prompt you know if you do know english you know how we spell the word prompt and he also says once apologies rather than once again apologies so yeah there's that and that's what Denis Ombachi was talking about. So I can't wait to see Khalif Cairo's um, response uh, to this, this by Denis Ombachi. But yeah, do you find it um, funny? Who do you think has the most scores right now?